Hi learners, today we will be talking about life processes, ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation, and ingestion. Have you ever wondered what happens to the food after it has been eaten? Before the body can use the food, it has to be first absorbed by the bloodstream. This is done by breaking the large, insoluble food molecules into smaller, soluble ones by the process of digestion, which is performed by the digestive system. The process of nutrition in humans involves five steps. We have ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation, and ingestion. Ingestion Ingestion is the process of taking in food into the digestive tract. In the mouth, when the food is being chewed by the teeth, saliva mixes with it helping us to swallow it. The chewed food is swallowed through the pharynx and esophagus. Relevant organs are the teeth. Relevant processes, swallowing and peristalsis. Digestion Digestion is the mechanical and chemical breakdown of food into small organic fragments. Mechanical digestion refers to the physical breakdown of large pieces of food into smaller pieces which can subsequently be accessed by digestive enzymes. In mechanical digestion, enzymes break down food into small molecules the body can use. Relevant organs, mouth and teeth, alimentary canal, stomach and duodenum. Absorption the simple product of digestion is small enough to be absorbed by the epithelial cells of the intestinal villi. Each day, the alimentary canal processes up to 10 liters of food, liquids, and GI secretions, yet less than 1 liter enters the large intestine. Almost all ingested food, 80% of electrolytes, and 90% of water are absorbed in the small intestine. Although the entire small intestine is involved in the absorption of water and lipids, most absorption of carbohydrates and proteins occurs in the jejunum. The small intestine is highly efficient at this, absorbing monosaccharides at an estimated rate of 120 grams per hour. Notably, bile salts and vitamin B12 are absorbed in the terminal ileum. Assimilation it is the movement of digested food molecules into the cells of the body where they are used. The liver is important in assimilation. For example, glucose is used in respiration to provide energy and amino acids are used to build new proteins. Fate of the absorbed food Glucose for energy production, amino acids for building up body materials, and fats for energy reserve. Egestion by the time chyme passes from the ileum into the large intestine, it is essentially indigestible food residue, some water, and millions of bacteria. The colon is the first part of the large intestine. It absorbs most of the remaining water. This leaves semi-solid waste material called feces. The feces are stored in the rectum, the last part of the large intestine. Egestion happens when these feces pass out of the body through the anus. We will talk more about these processes on the next videos. Thank you so much for listening. Enjoyed and learned a lot? Please like and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to click the bell button to get notified whenever we post a new video.